Hey there, Chris Wales here, and today we're going to be looking into vertical videos. Whether you want to TikTokify a current project, or wondering why the heck isn't my video looking like how I want it to? Well, today we're going to be doing a little beginner's overview, just looking into the long and tall social media friendly format. So let's begin! Okay, so we've opened up Lightworks, and there's just a couple of things to make sure you get set right in order to get the vertical video working properly. So obviously, if you have just a vertical video clip, let's just drag that onto the timeline here, and you'll see that both sides of this video have the black bars, which essentially is because this is a 16 by 9 video, but we want it to be 9 by 16. So there's a couple of ways that we can do this, um, both basically being the same thing. On your sequence here, you can right click and under playback format, click the down menu here, and you'll see that we have all the way down here, social, portrait large, and just portrait. So on Lightworks Free, you'll only be able to export in normal portrait, but if you wanted to make a project under portrait large, that is also fine. So let's just do that. There we go. So now you'll see that the black bars have gone. And now we just press play. And there we go. There we have our happy little man doing a little dance. This was definitely real footage that I filmed. The other way to change your sequence settings to be vertical, let's once again put the video here. Oh no, it's gone dark on both sides. If we have the metadata box open here, you'll see here there is also the option to change the playback format. And this works exactly the same way as before. You'll see we've got all the different formats down here. And really the only one we want to worry about is portrait because it's a portrait video as opposed to a landscape one. So we have that here and then there we go. We got our amazing little man dancing here. But what if we have a video that was originally landscape? Well, we can drag this one down and we got an amazing bit of footage of a penguin. And you'll see now we've got the black bars this way round because this video was originally landscape. So the best thing that we can do here is to go up to effects and then we've got transform 3D which we can drag down onto the clip and you'll see here we can now transform 3D which essentially is adjusting the position of the video within this window here. So X is your left and right, your horizontal. Y is the up and down. And Z is the zoom in and out, the 3D axis. So what we want to do is just zoom it in and you'll see actually it's super sensitive. So I can either use the mouse wheel to tweak it or I can just type it in manually because it's probably a bit easier. Let's try minus two. Beautiful. So we're zoomed in enough, no more black bars, but it's not correctly aligned. So let's just try and drag this. Oh, oh, oh it's a bit sensitive. Okay, in fact, let's just try one. Oh no, that's completely off. What was it on before? Let's just go back. 0.32. Let's have a look at that. Looks. Oh, okay. So 0.4. Oh, look at... Ha! It looks almost as if like I planned it. I really didn't. So there we go. So now we have a nice shot of this penguin walking along. And we have our nice little man dancing and a nice little penguin walking along. Obviously, you've probably seen this all from the Planet Earth trailer talking about Planet Earth and the penguins that live on it. Not really. Okay, so that is essentially how you set up your project and put in your clips so they can match up and work vertically. So now that we're happy with where our sequence is, all we've got to do now is export it, which also has a pratfall because if you don't get your settings right, you may accidentally export a landscape video as opposed to a portrait one. So in order to do that, we go across to export here. And you'll see some of the options are grayed out dependent on what license that you have. Today I'm working on a free license. So let's go down to MP4 here. And you'll see here it says resolution, portrait, and portrait large. The only difference there is the resolution. So it's still going to be exporting as a portrait video, not a landscape. But in order to get a higher resolution, maybe if you wanted a higher quality, we'll be able to export that out. You'll need to upgrade your license. But for today, all we need to do is make sure that we have region, ignore leading and trailing black because there's lots of blank space here. And let's call it vertical test and make sure we select the correct folder. Let's just save it right here in videos for today. Okay. And then let's just press start. Now we're just letting it export. 
So now that the video is exported, we can just press here and get the video up and running. And as you'll see, we've now got a nice vertical video ready to upload on any of the socials that we want with none of those black bars. And so concludes our beginner's introduction to working with vertical videos. The key things to remember is that your project settings are set to working with portrait and not landscape, that all of your video clips match up within the window how you want it using the 3D transform settings. And then finally, just ensuring that your export settings are set to portrait and not landscape as well. And I hope you have an amazing week. And in the meantime, keep making videos.